I want to ask on one question, brothers and sisters. The road to everlasting life, is they real to all of us? I they sure say it is real. Yes. You know, some years ago, for our regional convention, maybe 2019, we watched one video where they show that snake and mongoose. And I remember that video, Abby, where mongoose, they fight with the snake. That mongoose will be like one small animal, we won't resemble like rabbit or rat. It just be like they made that film, no stop. Me that they show them continuously like that. How your, you feel when you they watch that video? You feel, say, which kind of enemy be these two self, snake and mongoose? But just imagine one day, say, inside God's kingdom, you go see mongoose, you go see snake. They are two go just they play together. They are two go see themselves as friends, not be enemy again. Maybe they go remember, say, remember we did fight before, but now I see us, we don't be friend. Many better blessings they wait all of us for future. And we know so you go come. But for us to see these blessings, which Jehovah don't promise us, we need to do the road we lead to everlasting life. Our discussion today will discuss three things. We go answer three questions. One, waiting with that road to life. Two, how will we start to the worker for this road to life? And three, to work out for this road to life, is it easy or is it difficult? Now, make we take the first one, waiting with the road to life. Remember, say Jehovah wants all of us, make we get everlasting life, make we get life when no go end. Now, waiting, don't promise all of us be that. You don't put them for our hearts, say make we live forever. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And all of us, they looked forward to that time when all the promises which Jehovah don't promise us go fulfilled. We know say it go come. Jehovah need a lie. And so the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 2, tell us. Now, but to enter this road or to enter that everlasting life, to follow that road, we go take us into everlasting life. It requires say make we do something so. See our first read scripture today. Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. See how Jesus Christ, many years ago, about 2,000 years ago, take describe how to walk out or which road we're supposed to walk out will go lead us to everlasting life. Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Now we won't read. Matthew 7, 13 and 14. See what in Jehovah's Spirit use the disciple Matthew to write. Going through the narrow gates, because broad is the gate and spacious the road leading off into destruction. And many are going in through it. Whereas, narrow is the gate and cramped the road leading off into life. And few are finding it. These Bible accounts will really tell us in our two roads they One big where where and the other one it did narrow. As servants of Jehovah, we know that the narrow road where the Bible says they lead to everlasting life. But that road no day easy to pass. Now that road we all of us want to follow we go lead us to life when we attend. Now, to understand this scripture very well, as Jesus Christ take advice us, see this illustration. Just imagine, say, you find yourself for Lagos. Maybe you won't go visit your family member or your friend for Lagos. I know, say, Lagos, big, where, where, now one of those big cities for Nigeria. Now, Anaikeja, now your friend or that your relative, they stay. But you don't know anywhere. And in their walk, you know if he can't pick you, but he don't tell you how you go take rich there. But you just forget. Now, when you can't find yourself for the city of Ikeja, as big as it is, you can't lose. You can't meet four different persons. Now, the number one person tell you, say, you tell the person where they go, and they go Ogba. Now, the number one person say, just go your west. You go reach there. Take this road. You go reach there. That's in no sweet to you because you know, say, that one no go help you. Now, you meet the second person. The person say, just go your east. You go reach there. That one too no sweet to you. Now, the third person where you come meet, say, my brother, look, anyone you choose for yourself, do to go to go. If you go left, if you go right, you go west, you go east, you go reach there, no worry. Ah, you look and say, this one self, you can't be more confusing. You know? But the number fourth person where you meet, that one help you out. He tell you, say, hey, my friend, welcome. If they come from Bini, oh, if they come from uh, Umaya, no problem. It don't happen to me before. He can't carry one map. He can't show you, see, this thing don't happen to me. Oh. Take this map. Where did they go, Ogba? 
take this way. Go, he can't give you the road map of Ikeja. We go take you to Ogba. Brother, sister, which person advice you go follow? No doubt, not the fourth person. Because he show you map. He did very convincing, say you go reach where you go. The point. The Bible, now road map to everlasting life. And Jehovah don't tell us what we go do to enter everlasting life. As you read for the book of Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Say, make we go through the narrow road, we go take us to everlasting life. No forget, Jehovah requirements no they difficult for us. So. Remember what in the book of John chapter 17, verse 3. Say, to get everlasting life, we must take the knowledge of Jehovah and in son will be Jesus Christ. And that one no day difficult. But remember, when you won't get baptized that time, when you won't baptize for water, Jehovah no say, hey, my friend, Sheon, my friend, John, you must read the book of insight, A to Z, the two of them. And insight is a big book. All of us know that book. He say you go read the book of concordance. You go read the book of proclaimers. You go read and finish before you get baptized. No. Jehovah say, study in what? The Bible and the publications where the slave who will feel trust don't publish for us. And that one will make you get opportunity or the privilege to get baptized. You start say Jehovah command, you know today difficult. Jehovah not tell us, say, look, you must wear long garments every day of your life. Just we know, as Jesus Christ said, put on one cloth or one type of cloth, now we know with Jesus Christ. That one no bad. But Jehovah not say, no, look, you must wear that garment every day of your life. No, Jehovah not give us difficult rule. In rule, they, in principle, for Bible, they easy to follow. It is reasonable and it will benefit us. Waiting we don't talk for this first part. Waiting be the road to life. The road now to walk out for that narrow road. And what did that one mean? Read God's word, the Bible, every day and apply the principle which Jehovah tell us for there. Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. That one will make us enter that kingdom which Jehovah don't promise us. Now, the number two question. How we fit to walk out for this road will lead to everlasting life? For this part, we go talk four different things that we need to do to walk out for that road will lead to everlasting life. The first one, make we get strong faith. Make we they use correct truths where we they learn from inside the Bible. Yes, correct truths, brothers and sisters. What in that one mean? We suppose get confidence in God's word, the Bible. We suppose believe everything where the inside Bible. And make we know they follow the way where people they live around us, make we know they follow their lifestyle. Because most of their lifestyle, know they in line with the Bible, with the Siam. Remember who they rule this world. So, the first thing, make we get strong faith or trust the Bible and make we do it in the Bible, tell us and make we de do. Again, we won't use the Bible to examine ourselves, to check ourselves, whether we did the road to everlasting life. The Bible not a correct book, no book be like Bible. All of us know that one. We won't use the Bible to check ourselves whether we did this road will lead to everlasting life. Now, still the first point with the talk, oh, make we get strong faith and get trust inside the Bible. If you be a new person, we come this meeting today. You don't ever ask yourself, say, why are they come meeting self? And the person who study Bible with me, say, make her they come meeting, say, you go help me. And why I must come meeting? They tell me, say, ah, you need to get baptized or dedicate your life to Jehovah, give your life to Jehovah. And must I get baptized, Seth? If this thing they doubt you for your mind, I beg, go back to the Bible, fall back to the Bible, and the Bible will give you answer to these questions. If you don't baptize for many years, or in recent years, we know today, you never ask yourself, say, eh, why am I here? I, feel be, I suppose be Jehovah witness, self. It compulsory. If you they doubt any day, Go back to Bible, and the Bible will help you solve that doubt. Or, must I love? Let's move the love of our Christian brothers and sisters. Say, love for my brother and sister, and love for Jehovah, not the same thing. And must I love my brothers and sisters? And must I attend meeting? Must I preach? If these questions, or any of them like this, don't day your mind, I better go back to the Bible. But when you read the Bible, now who you they see? You they see me, or you they see yourself? See the picture now, where you go see for our screen. When you read the Bible, the Bible now mirror. And if you read the Bible, now yourself is supposed to see, not be me. If you see me, problem deal, it means say the mirror way they look. Now you make that mirror wrong, and the Bible not be wrong book. Now you see that, brother, as they read the Bible, they see himself. 
So when we read the Bible, make we know say I'm saying, ah, this scripture, now brother Young you talk about. This scripture, now brother Ruben you talk about. No. See, I'm say, ah, now me. Oh. Now me this thing you talk about. Oh. Before you go say, ah, this scripture, now true, I don't know where I go take this scripture help. I go use and help, brother precious. No. Take and help yourself first. When time reach, you go use and help, brother precious, brother Daniel, anybody you feel like. So, when we read the Bible, we won't see them as the word of God. Like Apostle Paul, make we day ready to change any belief. We know they in line with the Bible way we get before. If you're a new person among us, we really appreciate say you come this meeting today. And I beg, no stop your study of the Bible. They learn the Bible and make you they make changes. Make you they change. Just like picking where they grow, way small, where they grow, they grow, become full mature person. Now so make you they change your belief. And make you they do what change you over once. This one will show say you they walk out for the road will lead to everlasting life. Now, number two points we won't put for mind to the walk out for the road will lead to everlasting life. We say, make we they see things where you over like. Learn to love the things where you over like. And hate waiting Jehovah no like. They make changes for your personal life. The way we they think, the way we they behave, our behavior toward our brothers and sisters, suppose show, say, yes, we they work out for the road, will lead to everlasting life. If we want to make Jehovah happy, we need to de- change our lifestyle. You know, to be Christian, you know, be small thing, no. And you know, forget the meaning of Christian, the way. The way of who? The way of Jehovah. And Jehovah wants make you take that way and time to everlasting life. So, when you read the Bible, every day they make changes. You know, so we'll be work in progress. We know they're perfect. And we must make changes all through our life so that we we'll enter that kingdom which Jehovah don't promise us. Where sickness, like the one with the world they experience now, not good day again. See what's in the Bible tell us, say, make we do. For the book of James chapter 4, verse 8. James chapter 4, 4 verse 8. The disciple James, through Jehovah's Spirit, advised us, say, make we do something to God. And God, too, will do the same thing to us, too. James chapter 4 and verse 8. James 4, 8. God, what talk, say, draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you indecisive ones. The instruction here clear. Say, so draw close to God. And Jehovah will do a thing. He will draw close to us too. This scripture, brothers, it means, say, make with they do what Jehovah wants from us. Another one, Jehovah will take come close to us too. Imagine this small picking where they cry. As if they cry, if mama can't reach inside, one can't carry and the picking can't do hand like this. If mama will carry him, you know, you tell mama, mama, leave me, leave me, no carry me. Make I cry well. But if the picking do like this, you should say, mama, we are carrying me, make you pet me well, well. Jehovah won't carry us. Jehovah won't draw close to us. So won't tell Jehovah, say, Jehovah, I dare ready, draw close to me. And that one means, say, make we they change our attitude. We're no good. We're they in line with the Bible. Make we they do them. Now, in line with this, see this first picture of this brother wasting touch him for his suit. And staying touch him for his suit. What did the brother do? Now, the attitude we're supposed to get be that, oh, when we learn, say this thing, where we do, no good. As the brother see him, say, ah, see this thing for my body. He just see him, like just the way I wear this suit now. Now, that's number one picture. Number two, what thing he do? He don't they pull him. He don't they reach in shoulder. He don't they reach in shoulder, say, no, this thing, they smell, no good. People not supposed to see me with this. Now, the number three picture, he don't reach in elbow. He don't they go down. Now, the number last picture, number four, you don't reach in wrist. You don't pull the suit come out. When you read the Bible, now similar thing won't be that. If you know of anything where you they do, where no good, where the Bible no support, quick, quick, do like that, brother. Come out and make we put on the new personality. The book of First Corinthians, sorry, Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 to 21, tell us about... 15 different bad characters, which Jehovah no like. Works of the flesh, now in the Bible column. And remember, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, the Bible mentioned 10 things where we go do, where we no go enter God's kingdom. Leave all these 10 and 15 things, and plenty of them. Not only 15 alone, not only 25, rather. Plenty things which Jehovah no wants, no do 
We want to put on the new personality. See the second picture where they go show for us. See that our Christian brother. He they work for computer with computer, maybe for night or for daytime. But as they work, he can't see something we no good. You see what the brother do? Now look the stage where the computer, the laptop take the clothes. See the stage. First, he come out in eye. Yeah, what be this thing? Yeah. The next thing, he take the other hand. He they cover him. He they cover him. He they cover him. He can't look back. Now many things the brother do. He come out eye. They look back. They cover computer until the laptop close. Now what the brother they look? Looking back. He they look in wife. He they look in Peking. He they look my precious family. Hey, Jehovah, if I do this thing, Jehovah go verse for me. Oh. See my wife, why I don't promise, why I don't vow, say everything on the day of my wedding. See my Peking, I go lose them if I watch this pornography, if I do this bad thing. He can't look again. Hey, see all these publications. I read that for Bible, say no good. I read that for insight, say no good. He said for the chef. Now all those things, the brother, they think of. If it's not you, if it happened to you too, I beg, do like this, brother. Now, sharp, sharp, come on that bad thing, come on for your heart. Make you put on the new personality where Jehovah go happy with. We want to make changes for our life. We get experience of brothers and sisters. We don't make these kind of changes for their life, and Jehovah don't help them. One of them, now one brother, where he named now Norman Pelletia, then born this brother for 1954 and now for Canada. Make I tell you small about this brother. This brother, eh, now he they play gamble, and he they deceive people well, well. When his brother grew, now eight in mama and in papa born, but now he be the number last children. So he can't live different, different life. He they steal, he they kill people, he they work with criminal. When he can't day age ten, this brother can't they go message for people where they call prostitutes, where they do a share work. This brother do many bad things. Now when he can't day age fourteen, see how the life they progress. So, age fourteen, this brother don't be your guy to the deceive people. He go buy fake things and they sell to people and he just they deceive people up and down. When he come day age 15, then come out this brother for school, then push and come out for school. Now, the brother come they live bad life. He just they go far, far, far into sin. Anyway, one day, this brother changing life. Oh. The first girlfriend where he get for age 17, when that girlfriend started to learn about the Bible, this brother verse, eh, you learn about Jehovah's witnesses, you won't change me, you leave this first girl, you leave him, you say, no, I know if you follow you. You can't go meet the second one. Jehovah can't do him again. The second one too, can't they learn Bible. You can't look and say, yeah, I know if you run again, no. But I see this thing, where these my girlfriends, they do, I go need to follow them. You can't follow them. He learned the Bible. And this brother, more cut the story short, he become one of Jehovah's witnesses. And now, he they serve as a regular pioneer for many years, for the past 14 years, when they write this experience. If you get a person like that, we you be a person like that, if they come to this organization or they join Jehovah's Witnesses and your life won't resemble this kind of one, not only you, it don't happen to many persons, and then change. You too, if you change. Number three things, we go show say, we they work out for the road, we lead to everlasting life. Now, make we they grow in our knowledge of the Bible truth. Make we they share in the disciple making work. Make we they preach to people. And then make them know say now this work Jehovah send us, make we do. Remember what's in the book of Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. Jehovah say, make we go preach this good news. Now command. Jehovah no beggars. Say, Smith, I beg now. No. Command. Go preach. Number 14 be that too. You must preach. If you must enter God's kingdom, you must preach. And now, a good thing, a phone, they did do them. The slave will get sense, oh, if you trust, say, no, go house to house. Because of the love where you get for yourself, get for Jehovah, get for your neighbor, no, go house to house. So, brothers, make with the use our phone, they preach the way we do. Any little thing we do, if now 15 minutes, Jehovah will go accept them. Now, condition make them like that. So, you must preach to enter God's kingdom. Number 14. You must dedicate your life to Jehovah and be baptized. But if you did this audience today and you did fear to baptize, I beg, go study that watchtower. Go read them again. Study article number 10 and 11. It will calm your mind down and tell you, say, make you no fear. 
just baptize. Because that one will show say, you don't enter a special relationship with Jehovah God, and you won't enter this road to everlasting life. What thing we don't talk? Four things where you know go forget. We go put us for this road, where they lead to everlasting life. Number one, make you trust the Bible. Get confidence in the Bible. And make you they do everything where the Bible say make you do. Use the Bible as mirror to see yourself. Not be as window to see somebody else. Number two, make you they change your lifestyle. Make and they in agreement with what Jehovah wants. Number three, make you they grow in your knowledge. You study the Bible every day. And also make you they preach the good news to people. Tell your neighbor, start with your family, start with your friend, and then start to call people where you get their number. Number four, dedicate your life to Jehovah. Dedication means your personal prayer, private prayer. Tell Jehovah, say, I don't come to do your will. And number five, and the, after dedication, we won't get baptized. Now, make we answer the number three question for this our outline. The road to everlasting life, it is easy, I be it hard. See what Jehovah tell the nation of Israel many, many years ago. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11. Jehovah used this man in servants, Moses, with in spirit to write with him one read. For Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11. We won't answer the question, the road to everlasting life, is it difficult? 30, 11. Now, this commandment that I am commanding you today is not too difficult for you, nor is it beyond your reach. Jehovah the talk. He said the commandments when they command us, you know they difficult, and you know past waiting we feel do. We no believer, yes, we believe. Say our papa know the load we will feel carry. You know waiting go fit us, you know waiting go size us. Jehovah is saying, command no day difficult. So, brothers and sisters, the road to everlasting life, you know day difficult to, it day very easy to follow. No come for this road. The road no day difficult. And all the commandments, all the principles where Jehovah they give us for Bible, you need to restrict us. You need to put us for tight corner. You need to put us for prison. For example, the Bible say, if you never marry, no do sex when you clean for Jehovah high. Easy. Yes, it's easy. What thing would they talk? If you no do sex when no clean for Jehovah I, you no go carry pregnancy belly where you never reach time to carry. You no go carry disease where you no supposed to carry. Shame no go catch you for community. They no go discipline you for Jehovah organization. You go get clean record until you enter Jehovah kingdom. So now we help. Now you. Now me. The Bible say, Christmas, the Bible no support them. They no born Jesus December 25 now. Every year, Jesus no be picking now. Now king for heaven. No do Christmas. You know the Bible. Instead, now the remembrance of Christ's death. If we know them, now we help. Now we. And many more. No do bad day. No do adultery. If you don't marry, stay with your wife. No look other person. If you be wife too, stay with your husband. No thief. If you know thief, now we help. Now you. Because my name now, now Sheon. If I thief, my name go change from Sheon. They go say thief, thief. Now who give yourself name? Now you. Now me give myself name. So the instructions with the Bible, now for our good, make with the follow. I mean, not the difficult. Now, what be the three things which Jehovah don't provide, we go help us so that this road, you know, go be difficult for us to walk out. Number one, make with the pray to Jehovah. Remember, Jehovah invite us to make with the pray and make we clean our hands. Make we know they do it in Jehovah no life so that he go hear our prayer. Number two, Jehovah promised us and go give us Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit, he go guide us, he go strengthen us to do it in Jehovah wants. And number three, they come meetings regularly. No stop to the come meeting. Now, now Zoom, they take the meeting. Or if they listen to radio, they remember that time when they play the program. No forget to connect. Make you listen to life-saving truth, my brothers and sisters. And we thank all of us for this congregation. Say we did do our best to connect to meeting. It's no easy to buy data. It's no easy to charge our phone. But no forget, Jehovah don't they bless us since April. Something no surprise you. When the lockdown starts for March ending, the slave where we feel trust, we get sense. 
No say, they no announce, say, brothers and sisters, on I go wait for one month, one month, and I no go do meeting, you know, will they try to put something in place for now? Now, what's them do be that? No. Sharp, sharp, Zoom, don't enter. Make you for see Jehovah, they help these people within spiritual. They don't arrange Zoom, say, make we they do meeting. Brothers, if the slave will get sense, oh, if you trust, the faithful slave, no, they sleep, as it were. That they make research to feed the household of faith, as the Bible says, that they are work for now. If they do all this one for us, this struggle, you to struggle, they attend meeting. See every meeting as the last meeting we go attend. Even though, even though you day weak, even though na sickness, I beg attend meeting. Struggle to be there. I beg, brothers and sisters, see every meeting as the last meeting. No, let them say them say they will come tell you announcement. They will come tell you what thing happened. See the meeting where you go attend today. Say the female make announcement. Say God's kingdom go come. Oh, see him as your last meeting. Just imagine. Say they tell you. Say this house where you they stay. It go fall in one week. One week it go fall. Today now December five. Abi. They tell you. Say one week from now. That's December twelve. This building it go fall. Now, when you go come up for this building, my brother, when you go come up for that house, my sister, if not me be you, I will come out the next day, if I know you come out that night. Why? Because you love your life. What will be the meaning of this illustration? Very soon, this world, Jehovah will destroy the wicked ones. Jehovah will destroy the bad people. And now only those we they do the will of Jehovah. We they do what in Jehovah wants. Then go enter that kingdom where he don't promise. Jehovah come they say, no put hand for the yama yama thing where they happen for this world. Change your lifestyle. Preach. Dedicate your life. Baptize. Now one of the instructions where Jehovah they give us today. Say, come out hand for these bad things where they happen for this world. Just like he say, come out for that bad building. That building won't spoil. Brothers, Continue to the make progress. Adjust your lifestyle to meet what Jehovah God wants for Bible. Day patient. Say, very soon, all of this katakata way they happen for this world, it go end. The blessings and the joy of serving Jehovah, it go too much when the time come. I know say they look forward to the time when Jehovah go say, welcome and enter into the joy of your master. No get discouraged. No let anything draw you back. Come up from this road where you they walk out from. I beg, they come meeting every day. They read your Bible and they do what in the Bible say make you they do. No stop to they attend Christian meetings. No let anybody deceive you. Say happiness day somewhere. Now this place, now happiness day. Now this place, miracle day. No let anybody deceive you. Jehovah say, stay here. Now here they teach people the truth. And brothers, I beg, make we stay there. Remember what in the Bible talk about Satan the devil. Satan a ruler and he they walk about to look for people who in one catch. Satan are the ruler of this world. We know that one. So I beg, no put your hand inside Satan's mouth. As somebody go go put your hand inside lie your mouth, say lion, he they play with him for this time. No be new world though. He go bite you. Last days of this system of things now we did. And you know go continue forever. It go soon expire very soon. It go expire. Now, now the time for us to accept the invitation to come serve Jehovah, brothers and sisters. Remember the song they start this meeting, song number 54. He say, this is not the road to life. He can not beg us, no come out for this road. Follow him. And he will lead us to everlasting life through truth. What do we don't talk for this hour talk today? The road to everlasting life, what do you mean? It means, say, read the Bible. Do it in Jehovah God wants. Don't forget Matthew 7, 13 and 40. Now narrow road and they follow up. Now, number two, how will fit the worker for this road will lead to everlasting life? Four points. Hope you say you're not going to forget them. Number one, get trust and confidence in the word of God, the Bible. Use the Bible as mirror to see yourself. Don't be as window to see other person. Number two, make you make changes for your life. Remember those two pictures. Sharp, sharp. Change your habits. We know good. Number three, Make you they preach to people. Number four, dedicate yourself and baptize. Okay, we talk again. Say, this road to life, is it difficult? The answer now, no. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11. Jehovah say, no difficult. Jehovah no will give us load if he pass us. He don't give us the privilege of prayer. 
They don't give us in Holy Spirit and also our Christian meetings. No fail to the committee. Jehovah will give you money to buy data. And then make we continue to the make progress. We trust all of them at the dwell. And then I go continue to the dwell. Brothers, time they come. The time no go to again. When Jehovah will say, welcome and enter into the joy of your master. With that fine song, I am very happy to welcome all of us to our watchtower study today. I bet if you get your September 2020 watchtower, turn to page 29. Now there you go see study article 40, where you get the theme. Protect waiting they don't give you. Protect waiting they don't give you. This article come out from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20, where Paul advised Timothy, say, Timothy, protect waiting they don't give you. So what we will learn for this article? We will know to say Jehovah give us important gifts. Waiting be this gift. Now the truth for Bible, where we know, and where would they teach people? So this article, it will focus on how we fit protect these gifts so that we no go ever lose them. Now the article we we'll want to discuss today. At the end of this study article, we will fit answer these three questions. Will be the review question. I bet see whether you go really catch the answer. The first question now, which important things Jehovah don't give us? How Satan, they try make us throw away the things which Jehovah don't give us? And the last one, how we feel protect the truth? So as we pay attention, make we see how we fit protect waiting Jehovah don't give us. Paragraph 1 starts with the illustration of when person give us something to keep. Imagine, say, somebody give you like 500,000 Naira cash. You say, I bet keep them for me. Where you go go keep them? Where you, which place you go keep that money? Where you go if you say, ah, my mind come down. Nothing go happen to this money. They no go thief this money. You no go loss. No be bank. Yes. Now bank will go wrong, go keep up. You see, because you know say that money, na gift, it they important. You won't protect them. Now waiting with the naturally they do be that. But brothers, when I know say Jehovah don't give us something where they important pass money. Waiting be that thing. Carry your Bible to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. See waiting Apostle Paul tell Timothy. He talks, say, Timothy, God what has been entrusted to you, turning away from the empty speeches that violate what is holy and from the contradictions of the falsely called knowledge. You notice for that verse, here, yeah, Paul tells Timothy, say, something, they don't give you something. God, what has been what? Entrusted to you. Timothy, you get something where you get to. This thing, they're very important. Waiting with this thing where Timothy don't receive. Now, the truth. Truth about things where Jehovah wants for humans. About the preaching work where Timothy go continue to they do. This now waiting Timothy don't receive. So waiting Paul say make him do. That verse Paul say, Timothy, guard these things where you don't receive. Protect them. No lose them. No let them go. All of us now Timothy for this congregation where we did. We be Timothy. Why? Because we too, Jehovah don't give us something where they're important. 
So the question now, waiting be this thing, and why we need to protect this important gift which Jehovah don't give us. This one will lead us to the first short topic, the truth for Bible way Jehovah give us. We don't learn fine, fine things for Bible. If you be Jehovah witness, you don't learn so many fine things. And you don't say, these fine things, then they're important. But what will be the reason why this truth is important to you? Because it don't help you know how to be tight friends with Jehovah. It don't help you know how to live life where it will bring real happiness. Nobody feel deceive you with light, light teachings. It don't help us make we no be slave to bad things. Things where First Corinthians 6, 9 to 11 condemn, says we no clean, spiritism, greed, stealing. We no be slave to those things again. Now the truth help us. That is why it is important. Another reason why it is important, brothers and sisters, is because Jehovah teach humble people this truth. These ones then get the condition of heart. Where they good, we go make them get life where no go end. They're humble because they accept, say, ah, the only channel where Jehovah tell the teachers this time, not the faithful and discreet slave. They're humble because they learn, they know, say, they know feel learn this truth by their own self. They're humble because they know, say, nothing they important pass may person understand Bible, get wisdom, discernment. We go help them live better life. Jehovah. Honor us with another thing. Waiting with that thing. To teach people truth about Jehovah. And the things which Jehovah go do for them for future. Just imagine the privilege which Jehovah get. It's like Jehovah wear us crown. Because we now be in fellow worker. We they work close with Jehovah to teach people in about them, tell them the things where Jehovah go do. One work where we need to play with now Matthew 24, verse 14, brothers and sisters, even for this COVID-19, we need to play with the preaching of the kingdom good news. Because we know say now until we preach them, the end go come. We know say this preaching work, it go help people join us to worship Jehovah for the organization. We know say if people listen to this message, then go live for paradise. They're not go die. Now what's in Paul 3 Timothy 4, 1 Timothy 4, verse 16. He says, You will save yourself and those who what who listen to you. What is the point? The preaching work is supposed to be the number one important work for our life. We no go ever use and play. The next short topic will tell us one danger where we need to avoid. Something will happen to us. As Jehovah don't give us this truth, make we know true way waiting Jehovah don't give you. Why would he talk so? When you hear the name Demas, Phygelus, Hermogenes, Hermeneus, Alexander, Philetus. What did they call your mind when you talk, hear these names? Now, people will protect the truth. No. Now, example of people will throw away what Jehovah give them. Demas, for example, 2 Timothy 4, verse 10. He threw away this love, this, this truth where Jehovah give them because of love of the world. He liked money, he liked big name, position. He abandoned Paul for the preaching work. Phygelus and Hermogenes, the Bible for 2 Timothy 1.15 say, they abandoned Tim, uh, Paul for the preaching work and turned away. Why? They suffer away Paul, they face, they no one suffer. They run, leave the preaching work. Hermeneus and Alexander, Philetus, the Bible say, they also threw away this same thing. In fact, 2 Timothy 2, verse 16 to 18, shows say Philetus and Hermeneus, they teach the resurrection that already happened. Then throw away the truth about resurrection with Jehovah teach. These ones no be better example. 
You see, these brothers who just mentioned, these six brothers, they're not being newly baptized publishers. So. They've been responsible brothers for the congregation at that time. Appointed men. Then get love for Jehovah. But what happened? Then throw away these gifts because they don't see and say they're important again. Look that picture you see for that congregation for early Christians. You see that congregation? The young man to the left, now Timothy, he holds his cross. But that man for me do, when they argue with him, Phoebe Philetus. He no stand well for the truth. He they tell us a resurrection already occurred. No can they teach us all these things again. You see, for back, those my responsible bro, one they do like it. Make this boy come up for here. They teach nonsense. We know one accept them. One do like this. Say, so what did they even they talk? They, they oppose the teachings of the apostles. The truth, they not stand well again. But Timothy no be like that. He stand inside the truth, even if this one choose to leave the truth. How if we avoid this kind of thing? Now, when we they careful to know the traps where Satan they use, we even use that time against these brothers. You see, they use this trap today. Wait till be this trap. TV, internet, the things all they watch. If we not careful, we feel because they think in the way we no good, and we leave Jehovah small small. Satan, they use waiting people, they talk. Or suffer, suffer from people, make us fear to stop to the preach. When we say that they punish or suffer our brothers for Eritrea, uh, Russia, Turkmenistan, not South Korea. If he make us, they fear. Satan, they use lie. People who don't live the truth, they talk lie against Jehovah's people. So that we go live the truth. This is not a trap. We sit and they use to make us throw away these gifts which Jehovah don't give us. You go in the example with the paragraph 8. A brother went in, in named Daniel. Daniel liked video game. He didn't enjoy him. He didn't play him. But what did happen? He can't they grow for this video game from good ones. He can't they play bad video game. Where then they fight, fight? Where then they practice demonism, demons things they inside them. In fact, Daniel can't mature inside. So they, he can't they spend 15 hours every day to play video game. In a day, we'll get 24 hours. Daniel, they spend more than half of a day to they play this video game. How many hours it is a report to Satan? That time when they play this video game. See what in Daniel talk. He said the truth is say, that time I know say the games where they play and the time where they spend to play them, they make my friendship with Jehovah they weak, small, small. But my heart don't strong. So they I don't believe say the advice for Bible no concern me. You see, I'm in heart don't strong. Wait him the lesson. Something we will feel they enjoy, they relax. It's not really bad though, but if we know they care, we'll sit and go set trap. The amount of time we will feel they spend, all the things all they watch, they do. If he make us stop to do big job, small, small. And if we know they careful, we go throw away the gift which Jehovah don't give us. So waiting will help us now protect. The truth. Protect what in Jehovah don't give us. The third short topic go address them. How we feel protect the truth. How we feel protect the truth. I've been more carry our Bibles to First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. This instruction I entrust to you, my child, Timothy, in harmony with the prophecies that were made about you, that by this you may go on waging the fine warfare, holding faith and a good conscience, which some have thrust aside, resulting in the shipwreck of their faith. You see what in Paul, they advise Timothy here. You see what in Paul, they compare Timothy here. 
He said, you may go on waging the fire warfare. Who they fight war? Now, soldier. Here, Paul, they compare Timothy to be soldier. He said, Timothy, you go continue to find the fine fight. This will not be war we will know today to carry AK-47 or bomb. No, no, no. Paul, they talk of a different kind of soldier. Which is go make Christians be like the soldiers where they fight war. Which fine character we need to get as soldiers of Christ. We go answer this and it go help us see five things where me and you need to do. We go help us protect the truth. May we start with the first one. Get strong love for God. Why we need this strong love for God? Soldiers, eh, then go die, eh, with their life to protect anybody with their love. Or something with them, say they're important. Soldiers are ready to die for that thing. In fact, if you notice, if person knows, say, ah, this family, one of their son or their uncle now, army man or soldier man, people they fear them, not be so. Because if you go enter their trap, waiting the soldier, I go use your eyes, see, <laughs> not be small. Then go protect their family, then love them. Waiting be the point. Just as soldiers get love for people they want to protect, Timothy too need to get strong love for God. He go help Timothy protect the truth. When he loved Jehovah, strong one, Timothy go, they ready to die for the truth. So don't see one thing we go help us protect the truth. Get strong love for God. The second thing we go help us, train yourself. Every time we see soldier. You see them as people where we say they're ready to fight. Why? Soldiers, they always train themselves well now. Then they jog, they do it, they do so many things, then they fit. Smart. Anytime. War. They don't take action. The advice where Paul gave Timothy to be soldier, if Timothy gets strong faith for him, he go help Timothy. This one will make say Timothy need to train himself to do the correct things. Timothy need to work hard to fight bad things when body wants. He need to work hard to get fine character. Timothy need to follow brothers and sisters for the congregation, spend time with them. All of us will be Timothy for our congregation. Like Timothy, we need to train ourselves to fight and win the bad things where our body wants. Apostle Paul for Romans chapter 7, verse 21 to 25, he shows in a battle between himself, the fleshly desires. He they lead them to sin, but when they fight, they struggle. It's not easy. So waiting with that thing, where you they fight to do the right thing. No give up. Be like that soldier. Train yourself. We we'll also train ourselves to continue to remove the bad old characters we we'll get before and wear the new one. We see the illustration for the public talk. No, be so. Yes. Now, what do we need to do? Then, we also need to train ourselves. See, when we come back from work, we don't tire. Our body blood say they use iron beat us. We need to force that body to go meeting if that ain't a meeting day. See the picture here. We notice this brother. He don't come back from work. He don't tire. If you notice for the hard copy, the time now around after six in the evening. He don't tire. He won't rest. But what thing he do? He train himself as soldier. He carry himself, forcing body, he and his wife then go meeting. See how then they smile. We know that these things, many of our brothers and sisters for the congregation, they do. And we thank God now. Continue to be soldiers. 
train yourself. You know, Endel, soldiers to also, also train themselves how to use the weapon, things where they take fight or like sword. Go they train, they know how to use the sword well or dispel the, the arrow. This one I practice, you go to help him. You know, go just wake up, just carry sword, they fight. Waiting be the thing where we need the weapon, where would they take fight what today? Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Say, we need to learn how to handle the word of the truth aright. Now, the Bible be our weapon, not be our sword. Where be the training ground to teach us how to use this sword? Now, our Christian meeting. We go learn how to use the Bible well, well. You see, before you go fit teach somebody the truth, make it believe them, see, say, this thing, if you help them, it means say, me, I go don't study this thing for the Bible. I go don't get strong faith. I know go just they read them, but I go they think well, what I read for the Bible, do research, think deep. I go try to understand them. Now, until then, I go feel and help myself. And it will come move me to want to help other people too. I go preach to them. Read Bible. Help them understand. Say, ah, this Bible verse, if you do it like this, apply it like this for life, it go help you. So when would they do so more and more? We go sabi to they use the Bible to teach people. We go they completely equipped for every good work. We don't see the second thing. To train ourselves. We think the third thing now we will learn. We won't learn. We go help us protect the truth. Try know the correct thing. So German gets sense. Where well, where? Well. Then they prepare. As they go fight war, danger will come. But they go also prepare how to wait and escape that danger. That one I think they prove out in the two theories. They make we get sense. Say sense person we get sense. I ain't go see danger. I ain't go what? Go wrong. But waiting will help us get that sense. Hebrews 5 verse 14. More read them. Hebrews 5 verse 14. But solid food belongs to mature people. To those who through use have their powers of discernment trained to distinguish both right and wrong. Share with the sense. So solid food. Study the gospel of the Bible. It will train our mind. We will feel make decisions. For example, would they enjoy movie, they, they watch game, or they play music. We know say inside these things, bad things that they show and where we're for TV. And the thing they show, now things where Jehovah no like. If we make our friendship with Jehovah weak, our love for Jehovah will just die if we watch them. We go use sense to avoid those kind of things. Prepare. For the danger where the feet show. Like says we no clean. For example, Daniel will talk about. He can't study the Bible. He do research. It really happens. He say in the inside big problem. Daniel can't begin to try his best to do what in Jehovah wants. He stopped to play that bad video game. And you know they plan with his friends for internet. What in Daniel say he do? Then I say, instead of me to play the video game, I begin to do other things for outside or they spend time with friends for congregation. Then again, yes, as they talk today, Daniel is an elder for congregation and in a pioneer. Daniel really know the correct thing and it won. Another danger way we need to avoid now lie lie. People they don't, don't leave Jehovah. They don't hate Jehovah and the people. They want to lie, spoil our brother's name, lie against Jehovah's organization to make our faith weak. We no go listen to those kind of lie. Because we know so they no get better mind for us. They just want to spoil our brother's name. They go lie against governing body, lie against branch committee, lie against circuit overseer. Even elders go lie. They lie against the elders for the congregation. So that we no go trust our brothers. We need to avoid all those kind of things because they won't make we no trust our brothers, and they won't make we stop to the love of Jehovah. No argue with them, no chat with them, no they drag matter with them. Leave those apostates, run away from them. Now danger, we soldiers go avoid, as soldiers of Christ will do. 
The fourth thing we will need to do will go help us protect the truth. Now make we put our mind for God work. Waiting be God work. Timothy know that work. Preaching. He use all he had preach. He no pursue money or property or things of this life. No. No wonder the Bible called Timothy correct soldier of Christ Jesus. We too need to be like Timothy. How? Make we put our mind for the preaching work. Nobody to make big money. In fact, Matthew 13, verse 22, Jesus called money the deceptive power of riches. The Lila hope where money they give, it don't make some person stop to love Jehovah. They know they're hungry to go preaching. They know they even come associate with Jehovah people again. Lila hope. Ah, in six months, you go hammer. Six months, which you go say in the next six months. If you that time, in the next six, before I know, two years, you they pursue that thing. Lila hope. Some don't stop to the love of Jehovah. We need to protect ourselves from those kind of things. The only way now, put your mind for God's work. Jesus talking from Matthew 6, 33. Make we keep seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness. And waiting to happen. Then every other thing will be what? Will be added to you. Live simple life. Use all your power. Do Jehovah preaching. And see him as number one. The number five thing will go help us. Quick plan waiting you go do. Soldiers that they always plan when danger come, where to run, come out. That they always quick, quick plan waiting they will need to do. This one will help us. We too, as soldiers of Christ, we need to look for sit- when we know any situation what they face. Plan well how you go take come out from that danger. And that that one will help us protect the truth. It just be like you go past in house, you want to get together, you want to party. It can't show you in house, say, in case fire started to catch you, I beg, make you follow this door. You don't go happy. You go happy now. Yes, because the best thing don't show you where you go escape from. The same with us. When would they relax? They watch TV, news, or films. Make we not say, we need to prepare what you go do. Suppose something about says come up, fight, fight, or people they talk lie about Jehovah's cognition for internet, television program of fame. Now only one we don't plan. Now go help us do sharp, sharp, quick, quick. Off that TV. Change that channel. Change that program. So that we don't go see what thing go affect our friendship with Jehovah. And this one means say your remote suppose near you. Nobody say they watch movie, your remote day for kitchen or day for restroom or day on that pillow. The thing come out, you begin to struggle and you don't watch them. Keep your remote close to you so that if anything bad come, you go take quick action so that we will continue to be clean people of Jehovah. All these five things, if we do them, brothers, we go protect the truth, the gift which Jehovah gave us. We don't learn, say, this gift, not the truth for Bible, and the special chance where we get to teach people this truth. And we know, say, when we protect these things which Jehovah don't give us, one, we will get clean conscience. We will live better life. And we go there happy, say, we help people come know Jehovah. And we trust our God, Jehovah. He will help us feed, protect the things we he don't give us. Now, more review what we don't learn. Waiting be your answer. Which important things Jehovah don't give us? We don't see, say, Jehovah don't give us the truth for the Bible. Yes. The Bible, the truth we know, and what will they teach people? Jehovah honor us with the privilege to be a fellow worker, to teach people about himself and what he go do for future. Question number two. How Satan they try to make us to make us throw away the things which Jehovah don't give us? It is set trap for television, no, for internet. Internet. For waiting people they talk. 
or the suffer supper where our brothers or sisters they suffer to make us fear. Like lie with people they talk against Jehovah's organization. They don't leave Jehovah. They can't they talk lies against Jehovah. This is not the trap we sit and they set. We go make us want to throw away this fine gift which Jehovah don't give us. The last one. How we fit protect the truth. Remember those five things. One, get strong love for God as soldiers of Christ. Two, they train yourself. Three, know the correct things. Four, always put our mind for the work, the preaching work. And number five, quick plan, waiting you go do when you see danger. Jehovah won't make we keep waiting we don't give us. So brothers, the truth, you see they protect them. We they sure say you go continue to do so. Make we apply the fine lessons where we don't learn. Value what in Jehovah don't give us. And do everything to protect what in Jehovah don't give us the truth. To conclude our watchtower study today, now Psalm 127, we don't choose. The title of that song now, How I Want to Use My Life. That song now from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11. And after the song, we'll get the privilege to listen to Brother Uluwa Shemo Okunwade to say the closing prayer. That's not song number 127.